Hello, everybody. I'm Ian Gibson. It's Tuesday night. It's 9 p.m. Eastern, and that means it's time for yet another Subpixel stream. Joining us, unfortunately, as always, is Will Crosby. How you doing, buddy? That was just rude. Yep, absolutely. Uh, special guest, hopefully joining more often from now on, Kyle Bailey. How's it going? Going good. Happy to be here. Haven't Great. Haven't Minecraft in several years, so this is kind of getting back into uh, the swing of things. Awesome. We've also got uh, regular Minecraft regular Josh. How's it going? I'm regular. I'm regular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so let's just let's let's kick it over to the game instead of looking at my <laughs> ugly bug for even longer. That was way funnier than it was supposed to <laughs> um, Here we go. I think, so this is the game. I admittedly have not played this since the last stream. Let's go around the horn and see if anybody's played it since the last stream. Uh, Kyle, you joined the server today. Is that right? I, I popped in yesterday just to see, and mm -hmm. I found a pair of like magic pants that let me jump really high, and I jumped too high and died. So Sounds that's about the right. extent of my experience. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Will, have you been playing any? <clears throat> I have. I've been playing... I want to say I played probably like five hours since we last streamed. Okay. Including I was on the server by myself and the creeper blew up everything in my laboratory. Oh, wow. And like, wow. I like deleted it and I, I brought the server back for my backup because I was so... <gasps> Wow, that's that's pretty angry. Sounds like so, cheating to me. Because I was like, yeah, it's 100% cheating. But I was like, I was already mad because I couldn't do something. And then that happened. Mm -hmm. And I was just so pissed off. So I, I played maybe like five or six hours since last stream. Okay. And then the, the clear winner of this uh, Minecraft iteration has been Josh. Josh, I'm assuming you have been playing a lot. Uh, no, not at all. I've really only played like maybe 45 minutes since last week. Okay, and then I haven't played any, so <laughs> it's gonna be a great stream. I, 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 it does. I'm, I am kind of happy though. It feels like all of us have run out of steam uh, on this Minecraft instance right around the same time, uh, except for you, Kyle, because you just, you just joined. I don't think I've run out of steam. Listen, it's I open till the 14th, so. Ooh, four, <laughs> 14th of April. April? Next month's April? April. Man, I only I tell paid you what, for a month. I've lost track of time. Whew. Um, yeah, this is... I just... I love this quarry over here. So, uh, Will, it sounds like you're the person who has stuff to show off. So let's let's go take a looky Lucy. what you got going. Heading your way. Over here, then. What is it? There's pine cones? Oh, that's bonkers. Not hard... Okay, I see a laser drill. Um, yes, so I built the laser drill, but I need to build four laser, laser drill tree <laughs> generators or something that activate it. Um, How many so. laser gills do you need? <laughs> I need four laser gills. I need four uh, laser yeah, this is my little like laboratory, and then I started building an underground laboratory. Oh, heck yeah. Um, Whoa. Oh, I Which like I this marble. Yet. Marble looks so um, good. So down here is going to be my laboratory. And then if you take the hallway. Mm -hmm. um, That's where the creeper the laboratory section. is. No. So upstairs is where the creeper blew up. Which made prompted me to finish building my underground laboratory. So in here is where the mainframe for that computer upstairs is going to start living. Mm -hmm. um, I just haven't had time to add it. I was just okay. kind of like, I go from doing a ton of intensive work on trying to figure out the nuclear power to listening to podcasts and just building this. So kind of been like a whiplash back and forth. Gotcha. Well, how about, um, since it sounds like you've got some cool stuff going on, the, the plan is to have this be the final episode. Um, last time we played Minecraft, it was Sky Factory 4, and we ended it by getting the nuclear fission fusion reactor running and we also crashed the server and just did a bunch of crazy stuff so does that sound feasible i feel like it's mostly josh and will does that sound feasible from your end you guys got any crazy stuff you'd be able to get running tonight i'm gonna try try okay uh i could try to make a drill 
I'm not sure how long that would take. Yeah, let's let's shoot for that, and then and then Kyle, you and I, I'm gonna call us the helpers. How about we we <laughs> help you guys with whatever you need? I'm like, I'm fine with that. I did build this uh, pneumatic harness. In the little time I played it allows oh, me to it? fly. <gasps> oh, you guys you guys show me show me you flying. What? <gasps> what? Does that like require energy or something? Yeah, so I loaded up with a bunch of potentia, which is the energy of uh, potential, mm -hmm. or essence of potential. Here, let me take it off. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think the default binding is G to turn it on, when you have it on your back. Oh, I put it on my back. Yep. And it looks like a little cool backpack on you too if you hit F5. Oh yeah, that does look cool. Okay. I think yeah, try hitting G. Okay. Hitting G. Uh no. Maybe you might have to rebind it. If you go to options and uh controls. Okay. And then it should be what's under it called? Uh, under miscellaneous. The first option activate hover harness. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Miscellaneous, activate hover harness OH. I switched it to uh, X, I believe, but I forget if there was something else on. Yeah, I think there was something else on X you have to take off as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, you oh, got it? It kind of drains energy a, a little fast, right? Well, maybe not. No, not really. Yeah, I think I think it just ticked down early, but that's fine now. Yeah, if you put it in your hand, uh, like on your hotbar, and then right-click with it in your hand, it'll mm. open up the menu for it. Oh, yeah, and you can see it. That's cool. Let me give that back to you before I accidentally destroy it. Whoa. That's awesome. All right, so, Will, what what can we help with? Um, so I'm trying, for the life of me, to make a thermal centrifuge. Mm-hmm. Because I just wanted to start powering the... Uh, the nuclear machine, and I need the thermal centrifuge to get uranium-235. Mm -hmm. So I need to charge my energy crystal. Mm -hmm. so I'm just mm -hmm. literally Googling on how to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to go... Uh... I probably should have played some of this. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can get this uh, quarry running. I think the saving grace is nobody watches this, so... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, let's see. Actually, if you want to, uh, we could do a project. If you wanted to build a certain item, Bombcraft oh. too. Oh, you want me to like uh, look up an item? Well, Ooh. I'm looking to see what I have available. I can research. Ooh, you know what I would what I would love is if you could build me one of your. Uh, I forget what it's called. The harness. Uh, arcane levitator. Oh yeah, we can do that. It should be pretty simple. Uh, I know. Figure out what that is again. Because I wanted to make a glider tower, so that we can easily hop up in the air. And then after that, if you can make a glider for Kyle, if he doesn't, if you don't have an extra yeah. one already. I, I do not have one. Yeah, we just need some leather for that. That's pretty easy to make. Okay, I'm gonna make a. make it out of glass so i my idea is i'm just going to make a tower that goes all the way to the top of the world so i probably need two, two arcane levitators yeah uh, well you probably need a bunch like mine the tower takes, mm -hmm. it's four of them so if we oh. get a bunch of them we just, all i need really i have everything except for i need more air shards which you get from just mining there's a like little cracked white uh ore looking things oh like you low. know there may be some in the storage because we've been coming across them. Let me check them. Ugh. Check this pooter. Oh, yeah. No, that's a bunch of iridium shards. Let me see if there's any in the quarry. Yeah, because I could I could mine that. 
through our uh, cave system. I should be able to see him. If only I knew what the ore looked like. Uh, if you Holy jump down into the quarry, mm -hmm. I can show you what it looks like. On my way, broski. Maybe. On my way. Um, Will, so you had some story you were going to tell us. You were going to tell me before the stream started. Uh, it, you know, it wasn't as impressive as you can see now. Um, no, I just, I spent most of my day today installing mods for Mass Effect 2. Um, which started with the day where they all, like, crumbled and I'd reinstall the game. And ended the day with, uh, I've gone, I'm like two hours in and it, the game looks really good. Mass I'm Effect, Mass Effect 2? Yeah. The game's terrible. The game's really good. Mass Effect 2 is the good one. I've, Mass Effect 2 is good. I've tried to play Mass Effect 2 three times now, and it's just like the combination of bad controls and like really bad voice acting and animation. I, I've i never gotten past an hour and a half in that game. It's nah, just good. I am. It's just like, oh, it feels like uh, it feels like when a Western company tries to make anime. <laughs> and it just... Yeah, that's Castlevania's what, good. I was just gonna say Powerhouse is pretty good. No, I mean, but right. like, like bad anime. Like they're trying too hard to do an anime style. I, I'm trying to think of an example where it's just like they're copying something, but they're just not quite getting it. Uh, what is it? What do you? What am I looking at, Josh? Uh, this this top one up here. It looks like oh, this, except okay. uh, yellow. Got it. Okay. All right. I'll go look for that. Uh, here, you can use the harness to get out. I can hop out. Thanks, Boo. Um, but I does that does that game actually hold up though? I felt like it didn't. I could understand people no, liking it, it at the time, but it's Mass Effect really Two. I played uh, yeah. so Still many really times. Game. Yeah, I mean, I play that thing on my crappy college laptop like so many times. It's just fun. I just yeah, man, I, the controls. Are you playing on a game on a keyboard and mouse? Or yeah, no con controller. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe controller is better, but keyboard and mouse always felt real wonky. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, uh, you also have notoriously bad opinions on video games. So I don't. I bad. don't think they're. I don't think they're bad opinions. I think I'm just very, very strict with my taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. You're very strict. I'm very lenient, and I just like games. Yeah, Mass Effect feels like a solid seven, and that's just not cutting it for me. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna go mine. I should probably give you your harness back. All right. <laughs> uh, the crap get. okay here we go here we go um i've been playing a lot of animal crossing um okay so i've been farming the tarantulas which will i've been oh, i'm a, Karen's doing right now so here's the thing this is the thing i hit with new one. leaf and i think i'm hitting this game hitting it with this game as well it feels like the only valid way to progress in this game. And that's a bit of an exaggeration, but the only valid way to progress in this game is farming tarantulas. And if if 95% of your gameplay becomes that, as in everything else just feels kind of pointless or a waste of time, that's that's not good. And it's kind of the same but thing I hit with New Leaf with the, what was it, like the gold stag beetle or whatever it was. In that farm technique. Or are you trying to just get stuff done quickly in a day, or are you taking your time? I. It's not quickly. It's just I'm just trying to have, like, enough money, to feel like I can upgrade my house, and enough money to buy, stuff that I like, and enough money to make a meaningful investment in the, the the turnips. So it's like, you know what I mean? I, I feel like that that a lot of the game revolves around money. Oh and, yeah, it always has. But I think. 
but like the only the, down to one way to get money is but every is other way you're doing it every other way to get money is nowhere near as much and I, i'm not even even st the stock market doesn't count because you you have to have a big initial investment so my point being like it feels like everything else in the game is getting you pennies compared to tarantula farming so then the question becomes okay why would i then do anything else other than tarantula farming i'm still doing the other stuff but it's like oh if i do the whole trick then i'll get what is it like 12 or sixteen thousand dollars out of a rock once per day and it's like big freaking deal all i have to do is tarantula farm for 30 minutes every night and i get a hundred and forty thousand bells you yeah know? i guess for me it's like i'm not out to make money yeah it's just it's kind of like that's just not the way i play so will's will's not a capitalist he doesn't believe yeah. it. <laughs> but if, it's just that it, it feels like there's not a hard gate based on money but there's definitely a gate where it's like oh you want to upgrade your house got to get money oh you want these fancy items got to get money yeah but that's i mean that's just analog thing yeah yeah but my, my problem is there's in my mind there's only one way to make money all the other ways to make money are just a waste of time because they take either as much time or more time and you get a tenth of what you get with tarantula farming. So then the question becomes, why do anything else in that game other than tarantula farm? Why why plant fruit from other villages if it takes three days to grow and you're not going to make as much? Yeah, but I'm also saying maybe next week there'll be a different thing you can farm. You know, I don't think so, though. Always I don't I don't think so because in New Leaf it was it was the same bug all the time. Like there was one farm strat and it was go to the island, they have the gold stag beetle, capture it at night. And it's the same thing in this game. So th that's my concern is that I feel like the game has very quickly boiled down to there is only one rewarding way to play and it's it's kind of monotonous. Yeah. But I also say that, I mean, then you shouldn't play it, honestly, if that's what you're getting out of it. Well, no, it's, it's, see, I, okay, so it's, it's not that I shouldn't play it. I'm saying that is a flaw with the game. And it's kind but of a I big don't think flaw. It's a flaw with the game. How is that, how is that not a flaw I with think the game, it's a though? a flaw with the way you want the game to be. Well, let me put it this way it's kind of like if in Minecraft, everything required, every recipe required cobblestone. So then, to do anything, you basically had to spend a majority of your time mining cobblestone. No, that's like if in Minecraft, you could either use two cobblestone or 30 wood for every rest. There's still no. other good ways to make money in Animal Crossing. Just not the perfect way to make money in Animal Crossing. Yeah, but it's just like... Why do any of the other methods if they're making you a tenth of the money? I'm just thinking of it in terms of like, if you're designing a game, you're trying to encourage certain behaviors in your player, or at least open several avenues for them, where it's like, hey, you can do this or this or this. But if you make it in such a way that one avenue becomes 10 times more profitable than all the other avenues, your players are, are not going to care about the other approaches. They're always going to take the option that is going to be 10 times more rewarding and then yeah. that option isn't fun yeah well, like i don't do the tarantula stuff because i don't find it enjoyable yeah but you have somebody doing it for you i have nobody doing it for me isn't karen it doing doing it for you if for her own reasons not like oh because it it unlocks her stuff do. wait so then how 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 did you get all your what level of house upgrade are you at i'm at the third up i'm 10 one house two house you have two rooms? No, I have one room. One big room. Oh. Yeah, because I think I'm one past you because I have a second room now. Yeah, like I, I play Animal Crossing very leisure. Yeah, it's just, it's just the other thing is that... Because I know I'm going to be playing it for like two years, three years. But, but, the, but the thing is, like, I'm not fast-tracking. I've done Tarantula well, Farm twice. But, but you... Are trying to make money fast. Well, it's not money fast. It's just, are you trying to make money in the game? Yes. Yeah. And 
you're using methods that are slow and I'm using a method that is fast. So the question becomes, okay, how are the slow methods rewarding? Right, but also the fast method only works at night. It does. So yeah, if but I it, never play at night. But, but let me put it this way. The slow method, because I'm, I'm doing both in a way. I still do the slow stuff. And I get, let's say I play about an hour during the day. I get, man, I don't know how much I, I you know, let's, let's, be, let's be nice and say I make 40,000 bells off the slow method with an hour of gameplay but it takes 30 minutes of tarantula farming to make 150,000. So then the point becomes like, I don't think the game is very well balanced at all in terms of the economy. Yeah, but I, again, I, I separate that from enjoying, like I don't fish to make money. It's just a side benefit of fishing. Yeah, because at least with fishing, you have the, um, you have the, um, the museum. Right, but like if I wanted to go just make one hundred fifty thousand dollars to pay off a debt, I would go tr farm tarantulas. Yeah, but I don't but, find that enjoyable when I play animal. Crime. But I think that's that's part of the that's part of the other problem though is that the housing. I'm not saying that the housing prices are too high, but the housing prices are high enough that you have to go tarantula farming to pay them off. You don't actually have to, but it's like, why would I do? 10 days worth of menial work to pay off this debt or I could do it in 30, 40 minutes. So that's, yeah, the, that's part of my I, problem. I, yeah. Is that I'm the game, more of the, the 10 days guy than the, yeah, yeah. The and that's, that's fine. I'm just saying, I think the game is imbalanced and it has design flaws in such a manner that it's f kind of, I don't want to say forcing, but it's heavily encouraging players to farm tarantulas and I would be okay with that if tarantula farming was, like, more difficult or if, it, or if it involved unique mechanics. You know, if it was, like, building a nuclear reactor in Minecraft where you actually have to, like, go down this path and you have to learn something. You have to, like, develop new skills and build up crafting, etc. But it's not. It's just a way to gimmick the system in a way. And it doesn't even really feel like cheating. It's just like, oh, I understand how tarantulas come out now, so I'm just going to go do that for 30 minutes. So that, that's kind of my problem is that it feels like the game is forcing you towards this broken, boring mechanic because guess, otherwise like, you're stuck in the slow method. I don't know how to catch tarantulas properly. I also don't have tarantulas on my island anymore because I have too many trees. So it's just not something I even do. Deal with. Do you want me to uh, actually, you know, for the for the sake of the audience, I'll, I'll describe tarantula uh, farming. It's basically you pay 2000 miles to get a ticket to go to an island. You go to an island after 7 p.m. at night. Um, so the islands, they're smaller ones. And as long as there's, there's like 16 different designs, but there's only one or two that are like bad for tarantulas just because they make it more tedious, but most of them are fine. And you just, you cut down and dig up every tree on the island. You pick every flower, you pull up every weed, and then you, um, you just run around the island. And if you see roaches or tiger beetles they will despawn you despawn them deliberately and then the only thing left that can spawn is tarantulas and it takes about 30 minutes to get like 15 tarantulas and each tarantula is worth 8,000 bells whereas you know like most fish are worth what a thousand bells um most fruit are worth 100 to 500 bells each so it's just like one of those things where in 30 minutes you can make literally $150,000. Um, and it's just, I don't know. I don't think they're going to fix it because they never fixed it in New Leaf. But it's almost like, I feel like what they should do is they should get rid of tarantula farming. All they got to do is fix that broken spawn mechanic so it's not as easy to force them to spawn. And then cut all the home loans by 30%. So that way it's not as expensive and you don't have to, you can't take advantage of the, the broken mechanic. Um, Cause the other thing is people, <laughs> what's the guy's name who you sell bugs to? I, can't. Uh, I have no idea. One of these witch hunters, Zach. Oh my goodness. 
Um, yes, yeah, so there's this guy that shows up. I think his name is Spike. And he's like, hey, I'll give you 50% more for your bugs. So basically, you can sell your tarantulas for, for 1,200 bells to him. And he shows up every couple of days on your island. So there were people showing up. People were screenshotting on Twitter today, and they're like, oh, hey, I mean, and it's just a screenshot of Spike being like, sure, I'll buy all your bugs for 500,000 bells. And it's like, what in the world? Like, it just feels, it feels broken. And it feels, it makes everything else in the game feel worthless when you can just do this one cheesy strat and break the game, basically. So that, that's that's kind of my main issue with the game. Other than that, I'm enjoying it. I've been, uh, it, it doesn't feel like, it feels like there's more furniture and outfit variety in this game. Does it feel uh, like that to you? Not really. I, I There was a ton in New Leaf. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily feel more. It just feels like, like I'm, I'm, I'm discovering new stuff again. Yeah. Maybe, I, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It feels like a new leaf. Maybe I was just getting a bad roll, but it felt like a new leaf. I was just getting a lot of crappy stuff and occasionally something good. But in this one, I feel like I've discovered a new piece of furniture like two or three times per day that I love or a new piece of clothing. Um, and in New Leaf, it felt like, again, this is just my, my feeling, it felt like in New Leaf, a lot of the clothing was just kind of normal clothing in a way. <laughs> like there wasn't anything too crazy, but I have in New Horizons already, I have drinking straw sunglasses and, uh, Jake sent me a bamboo leaf skirt, which just looks like a grass skirt. <laughs> And then I have a, a gardener's hat, which is like, you know, like an, like an Asian grandma would wear, where it's like the the polyester hat with the the skirt around it that goes all the way down to your shoulders. Nice. Um, so it, it just feels like there's, I'm seeing a lot more cool, crazy, zany stuff than normal. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, I've also been playing Mountain Blade 2. Um, I played about five minutes of it. It looks fantastic. The graphics are greatly improved, and I have great news for you, Will. The character creator is fantastic. Um, Yay. I have, like, I have almost 100 hours in the first game on one character, so I I didn't like uh, Warband when it came out. Oh, really? Uh, Because I played... Well, it was I was like 65 hours into my character on the original game. Mm-hmm. So I was like, either I start over on Warband or just keep going in the original. So, okay. Um, i just bring that up. I don't have... Six hours of the new one. Are you liking it so far? Uh, I am. At the same time, I'm kind of disappointed by it. Does it... So I've... Again, I've only played like 30 minutes. It, it doesn't feel like a big sequel. Is that right? No, feels like an expansion in like you in with improvements yeah it's kind of weird that it took them this long because it doesn't but yeah it just feels like, know, it, they, like they a might lot have of stuff they have wor- like worked on but not implemented yet um, that's true what i'm hoping for yeah and it is early access so mm-hmm. um yeah and it's I, i'm curious to see i've heard the ai is much better Although I'm a little worried that that means I can't just cheese the enemy all the time now. Yeah, the fighting's more difficult because it's not, you can't just back away and hack at people. Yeah. Um, Which is, it's fun, I think. Have they fixed, so the issue I always had with the game was that I would be playing for a while and then I would have my army of like, let's say 100 people and I'd be going across the map and all of a sudden I would encounter like a bandit army of 400 people and i wouldn't be able to run from them and they would just decimate my army have they kind of fixed that issue where it feels like the world army size Uh, is just like set to always be bigger than you no i mean i haven't seen like a group of outlaws or bandits bigger than 30 personally and that's that's just like in six hours things might change but Mm -hmm. um you're kind of always Supposed to be like smaller groups like that. If you have horses and things like that, you're normally faster than everyone else, just by a little bit at least. Unless you're yeah, stuck going into 
like force or something like that. Yeah, it was but typically it, that. And plus, it was also I like run into, definitely run into a situation where like uh, I'll get like if I'm part of someone's war party or if I swear allegiance to one of the factions, and then there I go at war with someone, and I like have to be careful about where I'm traveling or constantly running away from enemy factions that identify me as one of them. Yeah. What size is your army right now? Uh, right now I'm at 45. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it felt like... But, maybe I just wasn't playing the game right, but it felt like I would build up my army to be, like, really good size, like, like let's say, over 100. And all of a sudden, every other enemy I saw on the map... Again, I'm talking about the old games, not the new game. Every enemy I saw on the map that typically before was, like, let's say, 20 to 50 in size was now all of a sudden, like, 200 to 500 in size. <laughs> like, it just felt there was some difficulty scaler behind the scenes that was like, oh, your army is big now? Well, we're just going to quadruple every other army size, um, including bandits. And I, I hope they tweaked that. It, it felt like even when you built up your army to be huge, you never, you were always at a disadvantage size-wise. Um, so, I, I mean, I I'm, the, I'm looking forward to it. The most annoying thing I run into is if you try to, like, most, ban they have bandit hideouts, which I think they had in uh, Warband as well. Like, you kind of go in and, and wait till night and then Attack, mm -hmm. and you, you go into a abandoned hideout, and it says, "Okay, there's 20 bandits in here. I have a group of 45. Uh, I'm gonna go here, and we're gonna." It says, "Okay, you're gonna wait until night and then ambush them." You do that, but it it only brings in eight of your warriors, so you only oh. have eight guys that are randomly selected. So it could be just our oh. basic recruits. Yeah, and it's just me, seven of them versus 20 of them, and they're all archers, and it's just you get destroyed, <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, that's weird. They should let you pick who your ambush force is. Oh, boy. Um, I'm pretty excited. I heard the towns are much better now in terms of, like, walking around the town. Uh, I mean, not really. The only improvement they made, as far as I can tell, is you can hold uh, alt, and then it'll highlight people of interest, like, on your HUD. Oh, that's that's good. That does sound like a nice quality of life improvement. Guys, I found another group of those Crimson Knights hiding around oh. uh, Obelisk. Where are you? Uh, where are you at? Oh, uh, I killed it. X five nine two Z nine three four. I'm a bit away from you guys. Zach, I told you to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been on mute this whole time. <laughs> okay. So I found a, one of those obelisks that had a ethereal knight that was just like fight, and I had to fight him, and he was like fighting a. Uh, Wizard, uh, what's it called? Uh, Night. What are, what are the Lord of the Rings guys called? Can't even remember. Ring Wraith? Ring yeah. Wraith. Ring Wraith. He was like fighting. They looked like a Ring Wraith, except they were casting spells at me. I had a wizard battle. It was pretty fun. Um, Zach, I'm going to come help you cause, so we can be on stream. Yeah. Together for go too. Can't get anything to work. I hate everything. What were the coordinates again? Uh, X586 Z937 Ish Okay, well, one second, Ooh. I'm putting, putting on some armor I'm on my way, Zach If you go through my portal, I think it'll bring you there quicker Oh I was in the neighborhood Yeah, yeah, apparently you were Oh, you the just TP, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> we'll all meet here, and then we'll go over there. I walked all the way there. Uh, Josh, you oh, said you're... living God. Yeah, that goes the opposite way. Where we need to go. I was gonna, um... Uh-oh. Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna hang glide Actually, from, the, from the top of your tower. The... Actually, uh, hey, uh, Will, you wanna teleport, uh... Little friend Josh over there. What's your no? what's your that would be cheating. What's your coordinate no. again? Uh Z five eight eight Z nine two nine. Hey, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> what's on your back? Yeah, what what is going on with you? I'm a god. Ian, do you want to fly over here too? 
Uh, okay, wait. Give me the coordinates one more time. Z583. X, X583. <laughs> Z930. I should just give them different ones every time. That are one you know, I actually, I, I could probably Here's make Zach. it there in a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so TP me. <laughs> Whoa! And hit G. Or H, rather. And close that menu. What? What is happening? <laughs> I can show you the world. Zach, quick, run away with it and destroy it. <gasps> All trip called us uh -oh. out on cheating. Uh-oh. Definitely uh -oh. called us out on it. Shut down the server. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Are we doing this? Oh, no, his dad works at Mojang. What are we doing? Fighting this guy? Fighting all of them. Killing these guys. Come here. Ow! I'm on fire. They're on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I don't even see health bars. Oh, they're just going after Zach. He's got aggro on him. Crimson Carlo. I killed him. One's down. Clarence Crimson down. Carlisle. <laughs> What's his name? Crimson Carlo. Don't forget to jump and get your critical strike. Oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> oh, there's a guy in the water. There's two guys in the water. <laughs> you guys Let him drown! Swimming. They're just swimming. But they're bad at swimming. They got full armor up. Ow, they hit the arm. I arc. can show you the world. Is that all of them? <gasps> guys, I got a crimson cult hood. I look so cool. Oh, me too. Ooga, ooga. I got cold boots, I like. but I don't want. Oh, you got a helmet. I got crimson Why'd rights. You just throw cobblestone at me. So I didn't want it. I don't want it either. I got a void seed. Do you want that, Josh? Oh, actually, I do. I really need that. You you lit this. No, they did that. On fire. This is horrible. I don't use fire. Oh, you're right. You don't. Also, my fire is nice. Um, alt rip, yeah, it's uh, Minecraft 1.12? No, 1.14. I thought, wait, I thought this was 1.17. Oh, there's zombies spawning. This is, the, uh, altar. this is 1.7.10. That's what my toolbar tells me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. This is 1.7. But it's basically Sorry, FTB it's, infinity involved. It's FTB uh, 12, that's what. 1.2, 1.12. Also, these zombies are like eight meters tall. Yeah, or cute. eight feet tall. Oh, I did, I did. That's crazy. Furious. Yeah, because when we started the server, I was like, oh, I want to see all the new Minecraft stuff, and then I realized none of it's in here. Oh, this is a magical forest. You're a magical forest. Yeah, High magical forest. Seed. Just Need to find. What are they called? You need to find perches. Oh, Just you know, something we gotta um, talk about is not that we have to decide it, but this is the end of uh, season f four, season five. Minecraft oh. Terraria Arc, Minecraft. Yeah, four. <gasps> oh, that's oh, it. Space oh, Engineers. Well. What? It's five. Look at this. What? <gasps> oh, he's a little Enderman. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're here. They're here. Run away. Oh, I see him. I'm gonna kill it. Why would you kill it? Maybe he has something cool. Yeah, I hit it. Ooh, oh, I found a grew. witch's. He was growing. Where'd he go? He's on fire. Uh oh, I'm drunk. Uh, so this is season five. This so is what season are four? Season five. Why is this season five? Wasn't it um, Minecraft, Art? Terraria, Minecraft, Terraria, Art, Space Minecraft. Engineers, the game oh, the that, that you count? refused to play? Yeah, Space Engineers uh, absolutely counted. Uh, okay. Uh, Space Engineers. And then, so season six, what are we thinking of possibilities? Thinking Terraria. <laughs> God, Terraria sucks. <laughs> 
every now and then it pops up on my like if I go to Reddit all it'll pop up and like mm-hmm. someone talks about oh man just got a new tattoo of Terraria I'm like what, what a, that's like bad on two what? levels getting yeah. a gaming tattoo and it's not even a good game <laughs> yeah, it's um, not like you go back to uh, Conan <laughs> Oh, Conan Exiles. Have oh, so I was long. thinking about Exiles. Actually, you know was, what? That game was so much fun. I'd be down for that. Um, If only Satisfactory or Astroneer would come out with dedicated server support, we would do those immediately. You know, uh, let's put Conan Exiles on the short list. Yeah. Sure. This I, also, is... I think they've added a lot since we played. Yeah, there's horses, I remember. Um. Ooh, wait, Emergency... Uh, Proclamation. All Trip says he's thinking about getting his first tattoo, a Castlevania Symphony of the Night tattoo. Oh, I'm 100% behind that. I As someone am... who mm-hmm. played and beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night in December of 2019, that game is great. Yeah. That is all. I, uh, I've never played a Terraria. I mean, a Castlevania. But I, I approve of that tattoo. I just know it will be good. You've never played any Castlevania? No, I mean I didn't have didn't really have consoles growing up and maybe I'll go back and play one. Well, that's not true. I think I played one for about 15 20 minutes one time when I had an emulator going. I think I might I really the watching the show makes me want to play uh 1 through 3. Show's good. Oh, that, show is good. Oh yeah, you could. Ooh, that's a good that's a good topic though. It's quarantine time. What have you guys been watching? Uh, Kyle, what have you been watching? Um, honestly, I've been playing more games than watching anything. Uh, my TV is often occupied by other people, so just been playing uh, a lot of Warzone. I just played through Halo One again, Master Chief Collection. Good stuff. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna do next. But, and I'm open to suggestions. How are you finding uh, Warzone? So at first, I mean, it had been years since I played a Call of Duty game. Um, mm-hmm. And I was never super good. But I've actually gotten first a couple times with uh, like decent teammates. And it's fun playing with friends. It took a little bit to get used to. Like There was a bit of a learning curve just because it's so fast and fluid. And you really have to be like aware of your surroundings and aware of um, like the sound that's happening around you is actually a really big design point, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, once you get that down, I have actually been having a decent amount of fun with it. Um, yeah, because Will and I tried to play it, but I think we didn't have a good impression of it, but I want to say, and Will, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was mostly because of performance. We just couldn't get it to run well enough. Yeah, it yeah. was 100% performance. That, so... It was launch day also. <laughs> Yeah, it. I mean, it's gotten better. There's still a lot of server issues that they really need to fix. Like, I've gotten kicked so many times in the middle of a match. Just, oh. you know, it'll just freeze and stutter, and it'll be like, oh, like, server client failed or something like that. And it's like, man, like, this should... I get that they've labeled it a beta, but, like, come on. You're, like, mm-hmm. one of the biggest, you know, studios out there. You, you can't fix, like, server issues? Yeah. I don't know. Um, real quick, do you guys, I, I know the way home. Do you guys want me to guide you home if we do like a Lord of the Rings style adventure? I'm following I want, I want Will to guide me home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want the country roads to take me home. You guys, well, yeah. Josh, I'm sorry, Zach and Will, you guys are definitely going the wrong direction. Can you guys not teleport on your waypoint thing? No. No, I don't, we have, I don't think we have Ooh, a direction. I found a village. Ooh, Ooh I found a straw man too. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. So, Kyle, we got a question from chat about um, what game server issues, other than getting kicked, have you seen? Um, so there's been obviously like tons of lag. Um, some matches really are way better than others, but it, it's just luck of the draw. But then also, mm-hmm. um, I've had weird like texture pop in stuff, which doesn't always happen, but sometimes does, and it's really inconsistent where. Um, it'll happen to buildings. It'll happen to players. Like players will just appear in front mm-hmm. of you for no reason. Oh, that's um, bad. There's also I had a couple times a couple problems where items would just drop through the floor. Oh, like that's you would not just good. walk up to them and they'd be like, whoop, and it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I killed that guy for no reason because I can't get his items. <laughs> um, 
but it's it's definitely getting better it's just so slow and i mean their updates are massive like i think the last one was like eight or ten gigabytes and yeah. you could tell that it fixed like some things but there's still just so much out there that isn't being fixed yeah or i'm sh isn't fixed yet i'm sure i should say um so ultra we were talking about um call of duty warzone the free-to-play battle royale that came out was that that was like a week and a half ago wasn't it it's not that long ago I, th I think it was actually longer than that i think it was like two weeks ago yeah yeah you're probably right um so the the issues i was having was so i've got i've got a gtx 1080 and an i7 processor and 48 gigs of ram so i i'm not saying i should max that game out but I was struggling to get it to run at more than 20 FPS at 1080p. Like it was just real chunky and it was like down resing, even though I was at 1080p. All sorts of weird wonky settings issues that was just not making any sense. Yeah, I get around 30 FPS, which I mean, I only have like an i5 and a 960 GTX. So it's not, I'm not running like super hot hardware or anything, but mm -hmm. Even at 1080p, it should be able to handle, or you would think it would be able to handle like a Call of Duty game because they're Definitely. not the most graphically intensive games out there. Like I've played through the entirety of The Witcher 3 and yeah. it was around like 50 to 60 FPS on 1080p and it looked fantastic. It never, other than the odd like crash or something like that, which I think happened maybe twice in my entire like 60, 70 hour playthrough. I never had any issues graphically with that game. And it's like, why am I having so much trouble running a Call of Duty game? It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Exactly, yeah. Um, so I, I'd be interested in revisiting it. I probably need to. I, I think, Will, didn't you say you saw some sort of like performance guide where they were like, hey, here's the settings to tweak to actually get good performance? Um, yeah, I think I saw some. Yeah, because I had the same issues with Apex. And it turns out that there was just like some weird server, I'm um, not server, but some weird like graphic settings that were kind of counterintuitive. Like yeah, you had to like them the, the correct way. Exactly. Yeah. Where they like, they weren't clear what they were doing and you just had to like, you know, set water shadows to low and all of a sudden you get what? 70 FPS or something like that. <laughs> you know, that's so random. Yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I'm only willing to play around so long to like find the perfect settings that yeah. I'm just like, what's the point? Like I'm spending like an hour trying to get this game to just run correctly. And I feel like, I don't know. I had the same problem actually with uh, red dead Two. I mm -hmm. bought it from steam and I can play like GTA five, like, perfectly at 1080p with decent settings and it looks great like it looks fantastic and for some reason uh maybe it was in an update but rockstar decided to even if you um in gta if you go over the memory limit for your gpu they'll still let you play like it'll just be like yeah. hey like here's a warning you're playing like over what we recommend in red dead 2 as far as i can tell they don't let you do that anymore. So I can only play with like the crappiest settings. And I was like, nope, not doing it until I can like, upgrade oh, wow. my PC. Yeah, that does sound pretty bad. Really annoying. And we'll um, decide to end the world. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, I haven't know. finished my house yet. What do you mean, do you, mean you didn't mean to? <laughs> What's going on You're over shooting. there? It's like Will. Grunty, what? Will's blowing everything up. <laughs> Gun is incredible. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Give me give me a second. Let me uh let me switch to you on the stream so people can see. So Will's resorted to just loading things in <laughs> from the that. cheap menu. That's not true. You did not build that whatever you're holding. <laughs> oh, I built it alright. <laughs> oh nope. Nope. I'm looking at your screen. You're clearly in creative mode. I think you just blew my grave, so I think I'm done. No, it's right here. Love it. Let's crash the server. There's grunty pig on it. And there's All right. Well, hand. give me give me <gasps> admin commands. Oh no yes, way. yes. No give him admin that. commands. Josh, Josh knows the good stuff. I trust him. That's true. He knows lots of drugs. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, although, remember how we uh, crashed the Sky Factory server without cheats? Wasn't it? I crafted a bunch of mega tnt blocks and i just dropped a whole bunch of them was that what it Wait, what did, did it? it and it was the music box too wasn't there a music box that did it 
Yeah, I think there was a music bo box involved. Oh, boy. Did you blow up my bridge? My beautiful, beautiful bridge. No, your bridge is... It's not bad. The river's you screwed up. Hey, hey well, yeah. TP me home. I, I just wanted to make a dimension builder so we could look into that. <laughs> sure you did. Country roads, TP um, me home. Zach, you've been uh, you've been watching anything with your uh, quarantine time? Oh, I've been watching so much. I've been on paternity leave since uh, December twenty eighth, and now oh. I went to work for like a month, and then all this happened. So, <laughs> uh, what haven't I watched? The Tiger King. Oh, I watched oh. that. Sorry, I How is it? it but... I oh haven't watched God, it. It's so amazing. I've heard more it's, recommendations it's, for that show than I think any other show I've ever watched. Or it's, right, not it, watched. It, people it's, come it's out of good. the woodwork to suggest it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's also I just the way it. they set it up and like episode by episode, it, how they yeah. tell the story is amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I watched the real good. I read a thing on Reddit them talking about uh, things that they didn't have. So this is a what a eight part series. Each episode's about. I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour long. Yeah. And there was a thing talking about things that they couldn't mention. And they went through a list <laughs> of things oh, no. that they didn't talk about that was just incredible of what. Give us some of the good stuff. Timed. Uh, so there happened to be a alligator thing that caught on fire. Uh, alligator pond yeah. not the alligator pond. There was a thing that caught on fire. All these alligators died. All those alligators were owned by Michael Jackson. <laughs> just these things and then and then someone talks about he's like do you guys remember the sequence where there's a hitman being interviewed while he's taking a bath and i told yeah. my wife this and we both had this weird flashback of like that happened but i have yeah. no memory of it <laughs> and it's just all this crazy stuff that happened <laughs> just going along for the ride yeah, uh, so yeah I, it's just, just like the, the best way to describe it is like a bunch of people who share a very particular hobby and are just all crazy and it's so just crazy and they have interacted in very strange ways over the last 20 years and it's just telling that story basically mm -hmm. it's it's, it's, well, it's good well Definitely. i need you to teach me how to cheat i don't know how to do it and then I i've been I watching season it two you. of ozark i can't i can't th pick things in my inventory the... I saw season one, but I've been really wanted to watch season no, two. No, I can't game yeah. mode. I, I I was the same. I I watched season one and season two. I like I think I watched season one when it first aired, and then I just forgot about it because it's kind of a heavy show. Like you have it to. It really is. You have be to be in, in the mood. mood for it, and then you have yeah. to like keep it up because if you don't, it's you have to like. I I always go. do that where it's like I feel I like I have to start over if I have oh, too much time between that. an episode. Yeah. And so, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And my buddy works at Netflix and he just said, I just started season three. And if you're not caught up, you need to be immediately. Yeah. So, yeah, I've heard that it's it's season three is probably as good, if not better than season one, because I heard season two was still really good, but it wasn't like quite as good as season one. But mm -hmm. I really like Jason Bateman as a director and an actor. Yes. But I think yeah. he's a really, really, really good director. Um, yeah. So he I'm, directed uh, The Outsider. The first, the first two episodes of The Outsider, okay. which were the best that, episodes. <laughs> yeah. That's why I started watching Ozark, because someone said, oh, if you want to see uh, Jason Bateman's directing, like, triumph watch and i was like oh i gotta watch ozark before i watch this <laughs> yeah because i just yeah. watched watchmen too and oh, watchmen so i've been going so through all my H hbo stuff that, that was, was so a good. fantastic show i really loved it yeah i was really impressed with oh, I'm how so cold. Uh, oh ian i finished watchmen demon lindelof somehow pulled it off mm-hmm Okay, I, I, I saw a screenshot, so I kind of know what happens. I, I It makes me want to watch it just to be like, what? So I, yeah. I'll watch it eventually. I'm just, I'm 100% certain Maggie doesn't want to watch that. And she just hogs the TV a lot. So now I've got to find some time to just like yeah. watch it by myself. The other thing is I've been watching a lot of Gundam lately. And uh, Maggie has a habit where if I'm watching TV and she's not, but she's around, she'll just kind of mock whatever is on the tv <laughs> what uh sounds some, like Maggie. some of it is like warranted but some of it is like you know i was watching this uh six episode 
miniseries from Gundam called War in the Pocket. And it's like, it's kind of like Miyazaki in terms of like how it's presenting these characters and this way of life. And then it also turns very dark. It turns like Grave of the Fireflies dark where people just start dying and kids are like witnessing the horrors of war. And this kid's just like, I'm going to have to go back to school. And she's just like, I'm going to have to go back to school. And it's like, (laughs) he's covered in blood, Maggie. Give him a break, okay? (laughs) So the main point being, I got to find a time in a place to watch Watchmen that, you know what? I just realized she's going back to work soon. So I guess I'll watch it this weekend then. (laughs) You're Uh, being bullied for watching shows. (laughs) I just imagine her doing that. We're like, I can't believe you're watching the news, Ian. Oh, yeah. people are dying yeah. because of the coronavirus. I'm trying to remember. There was one time where it was something really good, and it was like a very climactic moment, and she just like shat on it. And it was, I can't remember what it was. Oh boy, yeah. Um, but yeah. So I've been watching a lot of Gundam. I've been catching up on some stuff so so here's i I think i was talking to to will about this but basically the problem is there's a whole lot of gundam i've been watching it in release chronological order there were three series that i watched and each of them was about 50 episodes and they went from really old but kind of good to okay good to uh like childish bad and then i watched a movie a two-hour movie and it was like okay that was okay and i kind of reached this point where i was like i got through like the big original opening chunk of Gundam. A lot of people say that's a good way to start and that there's like better stuff coming, but the original stuff's good. But I was at a point where I felt like maybe Gundam's not good. (laughs) If this was supposed to be like the good stuff, not the best stuff, but good stuff. And it really wasn't that good. Maybe it's not good. And then I watched war in the pocket and it blew me away. I highly recommend it. It's six episodes. Each episode is 22 minutes long. So it's basically just like a two, two and a half hour long movie. If you just sit down and watch through it, Uh, you don't really need the backstory. And it's, it's like a very good self-contained story. It's like the best of Gundam, just fantastic characters. I teared up at the end of it. It it got real intense at the end of it. Um, If any of you have seen the movie, come and see the Russian movie about world war two, it kind of turns into that. And it's pretty great. Um, so yeah, Gundam's good. Who knew that? Oh my goodness, what was that? Why did a zombie kill me? Weird. Zombie blew up. You're the um, uh, Josh, you've been watching anything other than uh, Tiger King? Uh, Tiger King. I started rewatching Hunter X Hunter. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's the best anime ever made. <sighs> my I'm humble on, opinion i'm on board uh so it starts off it's about this kid who's uh living on a small island and really like doesn't know anything about his dad because his dad left him when he was a baby mm-hmm. and finds out his dad became something called a hunter which is like although like similar it's like the same uh prestige as like a jedi or something Okay. Where they're like specialized, like not bounty hunters, but just hunters that either look for people, exotic things, like archaeologists and stuff like that. Yeah. He finds out, it's like, oh, instead of being upset by his dad, he's like, wow, if my dad left me to become a hunter, being a hunter must be the coolest thing in the world. I'm going to be a hunter. Mm -hmm. And then goes off to do that. And it starts off very like whimsical and stuff like that, but probably got about five arcs and then they get into some pretty heavy stuff like the last arc's kind of about genocide and killer alien bugs heck heck yeah go over (laughs) it's uh it's pretty intense it does sound pretty good it's the it's by the same guy who made yu yu haka show if you've seen that no i haven't seen that show it's a show where the guy does the finger guns right yeah exactly (laughs) Oh, speaking of more anime, I did finally start. I've only watched maybe the first three episodes. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, yeah. I have never been happier watching the first episode of any television ever. Like it just, it has so much style and pizzazz that it just 
like just slams it and i was hooked but um again i can't watch that very much because maggie doesn't like it and i would prefer that she didn't mock it while i'm watching it so <laughs> <laughs> so i gotta figure out a way to to watch that um but yeah it's it's that was i knew it was good but it was like coming off of gundam i was like maybe all anime fans have bad taste but jojo it's it's good and it's on hulu if you guys have hulu highly recommend it um uh who's who's uh what about you will what you been watching baby boy uh we've been watching castlevania mm-hmm. um a bunch of ba test kitchen stuff yes. oh yeah oh my gosh i yep. love um i miss seeing brad stuff. on my commute <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're doing the personal videos now no i'm it's, very upset they just did one uh today they released about the best coffee like each of them oh, is like that. best coffee so yeah, so mostly that, a lot of YouTube, a um, lot of Giant Bomb stuff. Um, What's your uh, your YouTube rec other than other than BA? Uh, BA is good. I, I still like Funhouse. So I'll watch their stuff. Um, Krug Smash is pretty good. That's Dwarf Fortress stuff. Um, who else have I been watching? Not, not a ton. I've been watching a lot of, like, history of random, like, video game companies. Oh, man. You know what Maggie's been watching? And I don't know how she is able to do this. She she just keeps watching all of these documentaries about pandemics. Oh. And it's like, <laughs> how can you watch that and not get horribly depressed all the time? And it's it's just like when she puts them on, I gotta leave the room. It's too much for me. Um, which is funny because she's uh, I'm just racking on her. Let's keep going. She's uh, she's a nurse, <laughs> and she just I don't want to say didn't believe in the coronavirus, but she didn't believe in the panic until like two weeks ago. And I was like, I've been on like the panic train for like a month now, and like for a while I was like Maggie do we have enough toilet paper? She's like, yeah, we got like four rolls. I'm like, do we have two months worth of toilet paper? And she's like, what do we need two months for? It's and et cetera, et cetera. But now that she's on board, she can't stop researching every pandemic that's ever occurred. And it's just way too depressing. <laughs> um, alt trip. I hear you. Uh, Nightbot is a uh, slamming out against caps. I, I got to look into the, the caps restriction for Nightbot and see how strict it is. I guess it's any message that is all caps. It will send the warning. Yeah. And delete every message. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'll, I'll have to look into it, all trip, and see if I can tweak that. Maybe I'll just turn it off. We, we ain't got no viewers anyways. Um, all right, boys. I'm not saying we're going to end it, but what's our finale? I have a nuke. Uh, oh, you, you have, have a, nuke? a nuke? Where? My hand. Oh, let's <laughs> launch it. That's normal. Wait, let's get everybody you together. In the uh, inventory. No. Okay, I'm going to meet on top of the uh, the tower. Gothic oh, there is tower. A yeah, that's I was thinking. I have no idea. Good. It's going to work. Okay. Let's test it in the desert first. Well, we should test it all together. Yeah, let's do you, want, do you want to do a test right now? Yeah, from on top of the uh, Gothic tower. Oh, let's go in the oh, nether. Oh. Let's go in the nether and test it there. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll test it in the overworld. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. We're all going to die in the nether from this, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Let me switch back. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool little house. Like you found it. I'll set up up here. Okay, I'm gonna hop out. Okay, I see all it. Right. You all ready? Holy do damn, it. I'm terrified. It didn't work. I don't know how to activate this. Did you try hitting it like TNT? Oh, if you click on it, there's a lot in there. <laughs> oh. What do we have to do with that? What's the... Uh... Uh, 
It's in... Industrial Craft. Yeah. Let me look it up. Do, 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 do. I'm also in the weird creative mode. You're in the weird creative mode? Yeah, I don't have an inventory or anything. It's just like creative build mode, not the creative whole things. Oh, if you from click the right... on the, the box in the bottom right hand corner, you get your inventory. Yeah, click that box. Oh, to turn it on. Where? So if you go to the tab and then e. that chest in the bottom right hand corner, it shows you your Ah, okay. I only know that because it took me like 30 minutes to figure that out, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I want to come look at it real quick. Bo, I don't care the about menu. you. Uh, oh, wait, you guys have flying powers. Uh, Will, how about you, uh, I'm going to switch to your view and then you look at the... Um, how about you look at the menu just to show it off a little bit? The nuke menu. Oh, I will. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, I see what you're doing over there. That's not it. A... Yeah, you you're gonna need. What do you think? Oh, that was. I was about to ask a very stupid question. Oh, you guys want to hear my stupid question? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, does that is that do it? Or do you need uranium? Uh, my stupid question was, how much TNT do you need to, to be considered a nuke? <laughs> What's going on with you? Oh, oh, I have radiation poisoning. Oh, that's fun. But my shields are taking it. So I put everything in. Now, do you light it with the redstone? You got the torch near it. Oh, yeah. Put a redstone near it, Josh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that Ooh. works. Get away! Oh no. Wait. I'm See ya. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stand over here. Yeah. See you on the other side, Ian. Oh! <laughs> I. I <laughs> <was> just... <laughs> oh, my shield's held! There is such a uh, delay. Yeah, so that's pretty big. Wait, okay, wait, you're still alive, Will? I'm gonna transition yeah. so you can see. Oh my sh my shield! Is it slowly oh, updating? Oh my gosh! Yeah, we live here now. <laughs> Completely gone. Can someone uh, go through the portal? I'm, I'm, I'm having it. Yeah, well, this is where the portal was. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Okay. That was so. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys had this, but it it said I was dead, but I could still move around for about five seconds. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My shields are still oh, going wow. down. So, Zach and Ian, if you want your stuff, it's over where I am. <laughs> yeah, coming through. Good lord. Okay. I'm going to go set up Just in the desert. Okay. I don't I don't... see what it looks like there. Oh, I'm oh yeah, I see I died die. way over there. I don't think... Oh. Wait, who vein oh, mined yeah. out here? Man. Okay, let me see if I can get over there. Okay. Wait, are you putting more down? I'm building a bridge to your stuff. This is the only block I have in my inventory right now. <laughs> oh no. I think, okay, I think... This is the most annoying thing that's ever happened to me. This radiation is so loud. Did you say loud? I think, I think I'm on my body, but it's... Is it under... Or is it up top? Is it floating in air? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see, I couldn't. I didn't notice that. All right, are we ready to blow up the overworld? Yeah, give me two seconds. Okay, let me kill myself so I can get back. And then I'm going Yay. to switch back to my view. Well, I don't think that's yours. Yeah, I don't think that's mine. Oh, yours is over here. Oh, it blow, blew us apart when we next to each other? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go to the top of the tower. Oh, no. I made it. Why yeah, did it not spring me? 
I don't know. I was really disappointed by them. Wait, why are there skeletons right here? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Wait, are those your bodies? The nuke turned you into skeletons, maybe? <gasps> that would be amazing. Oh, no way. Um, Will, for the nuke in town, I, I think uh, you should... I can't hear anything right now because this radiation is so loud. Okay, Will, for the, nuke, for the nuke in town, Will, can you hear me? No. Oh. Dang it, I lost my boots. Oh. Okay, I took off my armor, so now I can hear. Okay, I, I think you should put the nuke in the town in the center of the farms, and then we okay. can watch it from the tower. Okay. Because that way, I like, I'd, I'd almost prefer if we... I, at least I don't want to die this time. I want to watch it. I want to know what love is. I want to know what love is. You guys come up with any good uh, quarantine songs? Every song I have is a good quarantine song. I'm trying to think of the song I made up today. I also have a three-month-old, so I create a lot of songs. Yeah. <laughs> like, why did you poop? On my hand today. On my hand. Did it ever sing back? Oh my goodness. Did it? Did you just say did it ever sing back? <laughs> I forgot <laughs> if it was a. I forgot if it was a boy or a girl. It's <laughs> the rudest thing. Okay. Oh, I feel bad. The boy, right? Is someone on fire? I don't. Oh yeah, some. Uh, both I, of you am are. Am I on fire? I'm on fire too. Soul fray. Do you guys have that status effect on you? Ow! Hey. Oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, I would apologize, but it would That's be disingenuous. Fine. We're blowing up the world anyway, so what's yeah. one more death amongst the bodies? How's it going, Will? I've got. Oh, I see. I see it now. You're loading 20... it up. It's just cranking up. I got like 30 minutes. Of radiation poisoning. Yeah, it's I'm just gonna hang here on the uh, the floating elevator. Oh yeah, that's good. I got a nice you view. See my radiation going up on Ian. I, I do. 58, 59, 60 minutes, 61 minutes. 68 oh, minutes of radiation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because you were what holding plutonium. Doing? Um, I was just trying to look up how to get rid of radiation. Do you, do you need to, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Well, <laughs> I wanted to pull my armor back on. Considering what our options are. Wait, you're not invincible right now? No, I'm not. Be killed! Actually, give me two... Oh, that's why I'm on fire, is because I've got the boots of the meteor on. <laughs> Oh, I somehow acquired these boots. Well, you just put normal TNT in this thing. Yeah, and plutonium <laughs> in the center. Why don't you put nuclear pl plutonium? Nuclear, nuclear, nu nuclear. I'm gonna be honest with you. Out. I like the I like the George Bush pronunciation better than the actual nu pronunciation. Nuclear. 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 Are you ready to go, Josh? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to put the TNT in. It's not working for me. Oh, maybe because you didn't place. Maybe it's, it belongs to uh, I think you Will. Put 64 things to Plutonium. Ah. I'll do it. If you want to run. <laughs> I'm already, already out. Okay, hmm. we all ready? Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. Do that one. Do that one. <laughs> Went to bed. What? Oh, no. I'm running away. Here we go. Oh, wait. No. Meets that QWERTY mic aren't going to make it. Oh, no. I got... Oh, wow. <gasps> Holy, Holy my gosh. gosh. I got pushed off the tower. Same. Wow. Half the tower made it. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, that's a crazy. Oh no, my homing bed. <laughs> my home bed is missing or obstructed. Oh boy. Chased by a spider there. 
Wow, it didn't even get my... Oh, yeah, it did get my house. Oh, no. Uh, horny Dude, Mike did not make it. Oh, my God. Hey, I found air shards. Hey, look, my, my chamber of secret. Wow, that's... Wow. We, why didn't we just build those all the time? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> why haven't we used more of those? Why did we just do one? We should just mine with them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This is... Who knew there was iron right underneath us the whole time? <laughs> the whole time. Iron changer's fine. It's kind of weird. Like it, it actually has like a blast pattern. Like there's the crater, but then it also damaged the tower. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh wow, this this oh. is awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Josh's sense of discovery. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh! Wow, it completely annihilated Jake's tree. It like oh, destroyed. Yeah. It like had a black. Yeah, you're totally right, Ian. Yeah, it's weird. It like took out stuff that wasn't in the radius. Like oh, it had man. like like a like a surface blast almost. You know. Yeah. That's that's cool. Oh, that Chanter's still fine. I'm sorry. Well, folks, oh, did, you, did you just duke my you baby? <laughs> duke your wife. My 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 home. What home? You're right. What home? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just saying. Let's let's go ahead and uh, wrap this up. This has been Minecraft, FTB Infinity involved Mind Pack. I think we've had. Uh, I keep saying Mind Pack instead of Mod Pack. Thank God this is ending. We've had a fantastic time here. Uh, let's go around the horn. Uh, give us your your closing thoughts, how you're feeling, and where people can find you. Will, how about you kick it off and be a good example? Uh, you can find me at Hunt270 on Twitter. And what did you think about the <laughs> Minecraft? Oh, I thought Minecraft was good. Okay. Uh, Josh, how about you? Uh, my name's Josh. I like Minecraft. On Heck yeah. And find the devil. Uh, <laughs> Kyle? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. Uh, this was fun. I just fell down a really big hole that I think you guys are mining, and I'm stuck down here, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, uh, Zach? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Zach Attack or Instagram at Zach Attack. And uh, I was a little bit let down by this one. I wanted it to be like Sky Factory, but better. But I don't know. This this mod pack I wasn't a huge fan of, but I yeah. had some time. Yeah, uh, and I'm Ian. You can find me at Think Gibson on Twitter, and I think I think I'm right there with you, Zach. Um, I, honestly, I'm just waiting for the day when we have enough of a community fan base and enough moderation in place that we can open up a community server and have like 30 regular players. I think that would be a lot of fun. Probably playing vanilla Minecraft with just some tasteful mods. You know, maybe like the storage mod, and maybe some harvesting mods, just to take out yeah. some of the tedium but not a whole lot yeah um and we are subpixel you can find us at subpixel team on facebook twitter and instagram um if you follow us on there especially on twitter we like to post about things that are coming up projects that we're following um as well as uh, streams that are coming up so for example this stream we tweeted about earlier today on facebook and twitter and if you were following us on Facebook, Twitter, you would have seen it, gotten all excited, put it in your calendar, gotten some popcorn jammies wow. on, and uh, sat down in front of your television before 9 p.m. Eastern to come watch it. Um, you can also find all of our content, not just our streams, but also our fantastic edited videos, like the one and only Isolation Game Jam documentary that came out recently, courtesy of uh, Kyle's fantastic editing. Thank you, Kyle. Thank um, you. You can find that at subpixelfilms.com. Hint, hint, wink, wink. All that does is take you right to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's just an easy way to get to the channel. Hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified when we got new videos up. Like I said, we've got that isolation uh, game jam doc. Uh, Jake's been putting out some videos this week about Roller Coaster Tycoon. I believe it's the game's 30th. No, it can't be 30th. Maybe 25th. I don't know. It's, it's an anniversary of that game in some way. Um, we've just got a lot of fantastic stuff. 
And um, we're Subpixel. We're going to be streaming on Thursday. Uh, Will, what are we streaming on Thursday? Thursday, we're going to stream some... Somebody once told me, told me the world <laughs> is vulnerable. Classic. Uh, no, we're going to stream some Dark Age of Camelot. That's right, folks. It's time for another server quest, folks. Oh, God, server quest. Elevator pitch of server quest is we're playing through the chronological history of MMOs, MMORPGs specifically, one game at a time. We're spending about an hour, what would you say, about an hour, hour and a half per game? Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we originally pitched this as we were going to play through the entirety of EverQuest? Yeah. That was before we knew EverQuest sucked buttholes. Yeah, we, uh, that was, honestly, that was a pretty good save where, like, halfway through that episode one, we were just like, hey, what if we just didn't focus on EverQuest and just did the first hour of every MMO instead of committing? I still think that would be a fun, like, extra life thing where we're forced to do it, but. I, I would only commit to that if, if, like, one of us is doing it and we keep checking in with them. That's pretty good. If we had, we could do like easy allies style where they, they do a lot of bets and betting specials and they have like dumb punishments. Like I think one of them was like they, uh, the loser had to like write a five minute rap and then perform it in front of everybody on the stream. And I think one of the, Ooh. one of the punishments would be you have to play EverQuest for six hours straight. Ugh, that's a punishment. <laughs> That's a depressing thought to end on. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Um, thank you folks for watching, especially to you, all trip. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, I'll look into the trip. thank you. Thank you. I'll look into the uh, nightbot stuff to to see if it's being a little bit too stringent. But um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know, stay safe out there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye.